in the metropolis of Loose Court. <laughs> so, you got anything to say about the last match? It was tight. Man, Legend put up quite the fight. <sighs> if I, I hadn't say. gotten that grab and that first match, he did the finishing touch and I grabbed him out of it. Yes, if yeah. If that hadn't yeah. happened, he would have took that. Yeah, no, it, it was it was hype. It was really intense. I gotta say, so you know, I didn't expect him. I didn't expect to see him go that hard oh, against because you know he was. That was so good. Like, yeah, that was no, the it's best great. I've played it's great. Him. Anyway, we're gonna dive right into this. We have a Mario Ditto champ and Code sixty four, of course, being our local Mario mains. Your friendly neighborhood Mario mains. Yeah. It's pretty much blow for blow so far. Damage yeah, they're, same. Yeah, very very close. A one percent lead on champ, but. Knowing both of these players the way we do, one percent could all could be all they need. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Yeah, honestly, I I, I never have any predictions when it comes to these guys. Like, and it could go oh, any yeah, anywhere. Like this could take anywhere. a turn at any moment. But uh, Code Six Four has been definitely putting in some work. We saw in that first match when he played against Spicy, he managed to get that jab reset. That's right. So he's he's got some got some really good Mario tech. Yeah, you know, I I definitely. Uh, should have been grinding for this, but uh, I was just playing Rocket League. Ah, uh, understandable. <laughs> like, I was like, man, this weekend, I'm going to go hard, I'm going to grind, I'm going to kill at a tournament, and then uh, last night came, and I was like, I've got to play. I literally <laughs> I haven't played in like a month. Like, it's Yeah, I uh, I haven't, like, there was a very long dry spell for me, too. It was only just a couple days before the event that I started playing again. Yeah. Just to try and get used, or get, like, into it. I've been playing almost exclusively Street Fighter for the last few months. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you think would be kind of helpful? It's actually been quite detrimental. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Earlier this week, when me and Code got together just to have a little grind session, I kept holding down back to try and block. Ah, uh, right. Uh, which as everyone knows, Smash yeah. has a shield button. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> but they they are slugging it out here. They really are. It's just like we are in. A, ooh, that was very close. <laughs> it's almost just like watching them like mirror each other. Yeah, like it's. Like, it's you crazy. know that fight with Dark Link and Ocarina of Time? Yes, yes, that's yeah. a lot what it seems to be like, because these yeah, guys... that's what's happening here right these now. These guys have a pretty similar style of Mario. Yeah, they do, they do. I think Champ is more likely to go for the uh, ridiculous play. Yeah, oh, absolutely. He's you definitely know, more for, he, like, the oh, random cape. And oh, he's all about the showmanship, Champ. Yeah. He likes those big, those big fancy big combos. Dunk, yeah. And Code 64 has got some fancy stuff himself, but he's oh, definitely yeah. a more consistent... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...to get yeah. this solid damage and get this long combo. That's right. You know, he, he sticks to the, the good old basics, you know, that rudimentary that, that fighting style. Yeah, definitely champ. displaying, like, a solid mastery over the character. Absolutely. And Champ, he really likes to go for those flashy combos and kind of put himself yeah. out there. It doesn't always work in his in And there's definitely some favor, pros and cons to both. Oh, absolutely. Because how many of us have been caught totally off guard by something that champ just threw out with no warning uh every match no. <laughs> like, every recorded match with champ yeah. <laughs> uh. we're seeing i think these players have spent more time on the ledge than they have on the stage at this point yeah they're definitely uh Ooh, yeah. okay champ takes game one so with that up smash all right beating code at his own game right now yeah. Uh, let's see if we can make a comeback in this next round. Definitely. The Mario Ditto is a very explosive matchup. Oh my gosh, yeah. Absolutely. Well, Mario being the like all-around character that yeah. he is, it's, it's like... And like, having such a ridiculous combo game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the ability to get you from like 0 to about 40 off of one grab is, is pretty intense. Yeah. Are we seeing a double character switch here? I think so. Nice. Okay, so we got we got Champ going back to Samus, good old Samus, and uh, Code sixty four playing as Bowser. Looks like we haven't locked in. Interesting yet. I think choice. Code sixty four still debating what he's actually going to do, but he's he's iffy about that Bowser. He's not sure. <laughs> but as we know, as everybody has seen in the doubles tournament, Code sixty four does have a pretty killer Bowser. He does. He does. And wouldn't we, be. Uh, I don't think it would be a bad pick. No, definitely not. And Samus. Uh, oh. We're going to see the Meta Knight. Oh my gosh. Going back to that OG Manny. 64 is playing with my emotions here. <laughs> the Captain Falcon? Oh. Is he going to go for the Bowser? Oh, no. He's sticking it out. I think that's a wise choice. Yeah. 
I'm not 100% sure what the uh, the idea behind Champ's switch was. He definitely held his own in that first match. But Yeah, no, absolutely. I guess maybe he's just feeling like he should mix yeah, it up. Yeah, maybe he's afraid that, like, code is going to adapt to him too much. Yeah, yeah. He uh, doesn't want him to get too familiar. I think he's just trying to keep it dynamic, keep it interesting. Yeah. I can understand that. I've tried that in the past. It doesn't usually work. <laughs> uh, I kind of lost my touch with Zero Suit. I tend to stick to Toon Link these oh, days. Oh, code with that unfortunate I SD. Dabbled with a bit of Bowser back in the day. Yeah, uh, you were but, known uh, for playing Cool Ranch Bowser. Champ, but, uh, you know, Champ, Champ retired my Bowser in the first Smash port. Uh, yeah, so, uh, anybody who was in attendance, unfortunately, we didn't actually get a recording of. Any oh, that's right. That's right. Smash port, anyway, but, yeah, uh, that happened. And uh, after that, you know, th- things just haven't been that, the same since. That legend is carried on I, by word of mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I played him casually after that, but I could just never really get back into the... Uh, no, uh, the PTSD was the too... Uh, yeah, no, it just uh, brings me to tears every time I see him. <laughs> I ever see that big turtle, it just... <laughs> <laughs> it just messes with my emotions, man. So we're seeing, even though Code took that, that really early SD, um, he's definitely still keeping it together. Yeah, no, he's he's uh he's doing okay here. Yeah, one good uh, finisher now, and uh, we're gonna have basically a tie game. Yeah, that's right. A thirty percent be... deficit is not even. No, no, we, for no, we do. Uh, yeah, no, we could definitely see a comeback. I still think it's anyone's game. Oh, definitely. Stranger things have happened. Oh, Samus, Samus is the strangest character in this game because she is in the heavyweight weight class. Obviously, yeah, she's a large. Yes. She's a six and a half foot tall woman in a, like, robotic combat suit. Right. Uh, but she also is one of the floatiest characters. Like, she has the lowest fall speed in the game. Yeah, isn't that strange? I think it's like... It's really weird. Like, she's like top five for floating. And, oh my goodness! Okay! And so she, Champ takes it! Didn't lose a single stock. stock! What a beast! Oh my gosh. As Code 64 falls into losers. Wow. That's insane. What a win. What a big... That was beautiful. That is a big win for Champ. Yeah, wow. I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. I was like, wow. 